What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I learned a programming language in one day. All right, if you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's always talk about here on this channel, and it helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. So in this one, it's a follow-up to a video I made about a hackathon that I did. And in that hackathon, I had to learn this programming language called ATL in one day. And I want to show you guys just really quickly, like what it is, what it does, how we used it and what was going on. Our hackathon was all based around natural language generation. And ARIA is a plugin inside of Power BI that actually lets us generate reports with any type of data set. So, for example, this right here is um, an example of how we can write our own custom report based on any data set that we give ARIA. So we could give this a spreadsheet, a CSV file, we could give it a text file, um, a database we could connect it to, anything, an API, and we can feed this data. And based on the data we feed it in, we can generate our own custom report here. So what you guys are seeing right here, um, this stuff that you see in red is all called ATO. It's a language made specifically for this ARIA tool. And to generate this custom report we needed for the hackathon, I had to be able to do this um, or learn how to do this in one day. So I wanna give you guys an example. So here's some of our data or how some of our data would look. Um, this is all sample data that we use for our project. And so if you come back to Compose, we can see here that, you know, I can write this, you know, literally just like, uh, like obviously any sort of text file. But here we have these different functions that we can use to actually run functions on our data. So what we're doing here is we're running a function called num to words. So we're taking a number and we're going to actually write it as a word and we're taking the length of the unique numbers of models in our data set. And we're going to convert that to a written human language English word here. So here we're using this init cap method and we're just going to capitalize the first letter of this word. Um, but we're also taking another number, writing it into an uh, English word. So if we preview this, you guys can see that this is how our report looks. So it takes our data set and based on the functions that I write in ATO, I can tell it what I want it to do with our data and then what to do with it in our report. So this is all I was able to do in 24 hours, guys. Um, I want to jump over here really quickly to um, the ATL documents to show you guys how I was able to kind of put some of this together. So as we can see here, they're giving us an example of how to actually use their syntax here. So they're showing us how we can use variables here, um, variables from our actual data set. We can just put the column here and it'll actually display the data for us there. And then it explains like how to work with functions. So it shows how we can, you know, use different functions within ARIA, how we can edit it. Here's a good example of showing how we actually would, would write some logic. So they're showing um, doing something here with a percentage change, using a percentage change function, showing that, you know, something's going up by 1%. Uh, or whatever the percentage is based on the columns that they pass in of data from their data set. So, you know, again, guys, like I wanted to, you know, this is a really quick video. Obviously, I can't show you guys how to learn a programming language in one day, literally in a video, but I do want to emphasize that I knew nothing of ARIA Studio. I had never heard of ARIA. I did not know ATL programming language, had never heard of it. But I just wanted to show you guys that you know, it is possible in doing things like hackathons and putting yourself in like those uncomfortable situations, working on really tough projects or just pushing yourself to actually try something that sounds hard or difficult. You know, you might end up finding tools that can help you, you know, make that possible and also learn something really cool along the way. And you might learn it a lot faster than you think, especially if you really care about the project. So in this case, we need to do natural language generation for our hackathon, but obviously we don't have time to write our own natural language generation processor in three days you know what i mean so we had to figure out how we could leverage other tools and services and put them all together in an app to then you know give you a like natural language generation portal basically is what we did so aria was just one way of being able to do that but you know learning that atl tool i didn't get very deep into it but i was able to generate a custom report and we were able to get second place in our hackathon you know based on this being one of our features so 
Um, I just wanted to challenge you guys to go out there, deep dive. You know, I wanted this to hopefully inspire you guys that, you know, you can go out there and find different things to just play around with and just tweak with them. It's always good to just get exposure, even if it's just something as simple as, like I said, uh, um, uh, a quick one project use case of a tool. Um, but it's something you'll always have in your tool belt going forward. And you can always uh, talk about that learning experience and things like that and just knowing certain tools. So yeah, guys, this is a really short video. I hope you guys are able to get something out of that. If you were, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below and leave me a like if the video was helpful in any sort of way. If you guys are brand new to coding or you're thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, make sure you guys check out the description box down below where I'm giving away my free intro to coding bootcamp course. It's got everything in it that I wish I would have known going into coding bootcamp and it's all yours. Just cost your email address. So make sure you guys go check that out. There's also a link down there for a private Facebook group where you've got a bunch of people going in and get grabbing all the free resources that I leave over there that I don't put in the description box of these videos. So make sure you guys go over there and check that out. And um, yeah, guys, it's Darren with Darren the Dev and I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Peace.